Alfonso Cuaron's Roma is a deeply personal black and white memoir. It was inspired by his childhood in the Roma district of Mexico City. And the film seems to have inspired the judges too. Alfonso Cuaron for Roma. <laughs> taking the top prize at the Venice Film Festival. It was a decision that was reached entirely unanimous by the entire jury. So nine to zero. I am the queen, but you are mad. <laughs> the favorite, which like Roma, focuses predominantly on female characters, took the grand jury prize. Its star, Olivia Colman, received the Best Actress Award for her portrayal of Queen Anne. Best Actor went to Willem Dafoe, who played Vincent van Gogh in the biopic At Eternity's Gate. Despite stories about women dominating the festival, only one of the films was directed by a woman. Jennifer Kent took the special jury prize for The Nightingale, a revenge thriller set in 19th century Tasmania, and she made a plea in her acceptance speech. I'd just also like to say to all those women out there wanting to make films, please go and do it. We need you. However, the talk of the night was most certainly Netflix. Roma was one of six Netflix films that premiered here, and it's the first big win for the streaming service at a major festival. Can banned Netflix from its competition. The online giant has been attacked for its strategy of making films available for streaming on the same day they are released in cinemas. While some worry about what that will do to the movie industry, Alfonso Cuaron sees it as an opportunity. This is a film that is in black and white, in Spanish and Mixteco, Mexican, with not recognizable actors or stars. And never that the less they are giving a, a, a huge, huge, huge inter international push for this film, releasing it both streaming but also theatrically. You know, and not, that, not any company does that. As the conversation about the future of film continues, what does seem certain is that we'll hear more about Roma as the award season approaches. Laura Westbrook, BBC News.